You spoke about therapies. Um, some are the best therapy is the therapy that is working. But I know from uh, the organization Different and Equal that they have a special therapy that is art therapy. And art therapy will work also for uh, several of the uh, survivors of human trafficking. And I uh, immediately pass to Adelaida. I want to um, present Adelaida to our um, the, the listener, the attendees. And uh, as we see a little bit more than the other listeners, we have participants from Morocco, Nairobi, Albania, New England, Italy, France, Scotland, Washington, Cyprus, Freiburg in Swiss and Mexico and more. So we are covering a big range of listeners and uh, we are very happy about this. Now to Adlaida. Uh, Ms. Adlaida Alikai has a background in psychology and has worked for four years directly with victims of trafficking in the organization Different and Equal. She has served and made contributions in different roles in the organization, organizing art therapy sessions, which is a form of psychotherapy that uses arts uh, as its primary mode of expression and communication. Also, she has been in the role of peer mentor for two and a half years, providing personal support and assistance with the navigation of daily stressors and has served as a role model for girls who need help and were part of the different and equal reintegration program. Currently, she is working with a mobile unit in Tirana and has an active role in the early identification and referral of victims of trafficking and possible victims of trafficking. Adelaida, you have the floor. Um, okay, I will start my presentation. I will focus on the activities organized in frame uh, work of psychosocial assistance. The slide is preparing. Okay, all um, these uh, activities aim at the psychological uh, well-being of the beneficiaries. So we have um, a psycho, uh, psychological and the psychosocial counseling. Um, also, our art therapy and the occupational therapy all, and the relaxation techniques. Um, uh, here are some uh, quotes about uh, from beneficiaries who uh, ta have taken uh, counseling or have been part of art therapy sessions or occupational therapy. Uh, counseling has helped uh, uh, me to relieve emotionally. Um, Irena said something about traumas and explained it, and uh, we are in another step on the assessment and uh, the, the form of uh, the assess assessment we do, in, uh, in, uh, which aim the, uh, the psychosocial uh, uh, assistance. Um, I, have been uh, I have been taking counseling sessions and I have understood a lot of things that happened to me and I have realized what I want to do in the future. Another beneficiary um, says that and now I feel less anxious because I have talked about things that I haven't talked before. I used to keep it all for myself, uh, which is so typical in um, uh, persons who have been victims of trafficking to not talk with other persons and uh, to keep it all for themselves, uh, which um, uh, harms and causes a big damage in uh, with the time that passes. Uh, also um, expressed uh, about art therapy has been uh, especially useful uh, for beneficiaries found in difficulty, which have been um, uh, less uh, inclined to express themselves uh, verbally because not all the people have the same um, uh, have, have the same capability to express themselves. Uh, for some people, uh, it is um, easier to express through, through art. Uh, expressing themselves uh, through art, uh, beneficiaries have been helped to find the, uh, to find in them, themselves uh, things that in uh, other circumstances have not been able to understand or even talk and about uh, things or situation happened in the past. Uh, these sessions have uh, helped the beneficiaries to recognize 
and uh, to process the emotions and the feeling they have been struggling with uh, in order to begin the healing process. Um, also, um, research uh, about art therapy. Art therapy is a very popular um, intervention for people who suffer from depression, from anxiety, uh, tra different traumas, schizophrenia, low self-esteem. And um, in art therapy, uh, we kind of use a brain's ability to adapt and to give a positive infor information on a variety of topics like uh, security, growth, control, peace, a uh, whole purification, courage, uh, which are some top uh, which are some topics that uh, have been uh, damaged through a trauma and through art therapy. Um, it helps a lot the victims. Um, but how can art therapy help? Um, our research have found that uh, the traumatic memories are stored in the right hemisphere of the brain. So uh, speech is located in the left and um, uh, art is the left uh, is the right brain activity. So uh, sometimes it's, it is easier for people who suffer from PTSD to draw uh, about their trauma rather than to talk about uh, what happened. Uh, through art, also um, art therapy is uh, very used with children uh, who can uh, process their trauma uh, in a safe place and not threatening. Uh, they, uh, they also can apply um, words to their physical creations, to their uh, 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 pictures they do reintegrating the uh, left and the right hemisphere of the brain. Uh, art therapy um, involves is about creation, is about creating uh, and uh, is healing because uh, it um, uh, strengthens the connection between your mind and your body. Uh, and uh, uses uh, also art therapy uses creative thoughts and actions like uh, drawing, uh, painting, coloring, and sculpture. Uh, uh, for PTSD recovery, art uh, helps process traumatic events in a new new way of experiencing it. Um, uh, some of uh, some of the goals. Um, during the uh, during our work uh, are addressing and uh, treatment some of the issues that affect and hurt the beneficiaries the most. Uh, with the help of the psychologist, uh, individuals often create um, expressive art portraying their thoughts and feelings. Uh, for many, uh, this uh, creative outlet is a vital uh, component uh, of healing trauma. Um, here are some um, uh, steps of with uh, that are connected uh, with uh, healing from uh, a trauma. Uh, finding strong values on self, putting new goals uh, for the future, uh, which is so important to create um, uh, to make uh, the people who have been a victim uh, of a trafficking or who have suffered from trauma. Uh, to set new goals and uh, look at the future, uh, this is really uh, helpful for the healing process. Also, uh, forgiveness is another component that helps uh, healing from trauma. Uh, mourning from uh, loss, from the loss, uh, the loved one, uh, functioning, dreams, uh, plans, uh, identity, etc. Um, healing from trauma also is a holistic uh, process uh, in, that involves a pra uh, practical, emotional, uh, and uh, education or training. Um, healing from trauma is, uh, is also connected with uh, new experiences, uh, with uh, things that a person can share with others. Um, also about the thinking and um, uh, imagining the future, because the people uh, who are suffering from trauma uh, usually have a problem to, to imagine a future. Uh, they they uh, stop uh, thinking about future or new goals or 
so it is uh, uh, a really important step. Adapting new routine is also uh, connected with uh, healing from trauma. Uh, and in our, uh, in our daily work, um, adapting new routines and um, uh, making uh, people have these new routines and get to used to new lifestyle is a very important uh, thing we work uh, daily. Reinsertion into uh, society and normalized life. Uh, this is also a very important uh, topic because um, sometimes the victims of trafficking or also uh, people who have suffered from a trauma, uh, ha uh, they are uh, they uh, are uh, have become distant. Uh, about uh, the society and they feel them themselves uh, not connected uh, with the society and not uh, in, a, in a normal life and we need to work with that uh, with that uh, again uh, trans uh, transformation of uh, traumatic memory into uh, narrative uh, integration into biographical memory uh, processing emotions, body states, and uh, correction of damaged thoughts. This is uh, also important, and uh, psychological uh, help uh, makes that uh, makes that mostly uh, the the work in this topic. It's uh, it's made by uh, the psychological support, uh, which is also so important when we talk about healing from trauma. Uh, the path activities, the path of activities in uh, uh, to heal of, with uh, to heal um, uh, from trauma. Oh, we have um, first art therapy. Uh, we talked about uh, some, uh, and we will show some pictures and the more practical work we do in different and equal. Art therapy and occupational therapy. Uh, also, uh, one of the things that we do is uh, involving uh, in physical sport uh, or activities, in a relaxing activities also, uh, such as volleyball, basketball, uh, self-defense and yoga. Also, music helps uh, and it is a form of art and uh, it's we use it like a art therapy, let's say. Uh, also, music helps a lot. Uh, kitchen and cooking uh, also, and self-care, uh, engaging in the, uh, in the design and in the implementation of awareness campaign, uh, peer support and social activities too, and engaging in professional courses um, also. About art uh, therapy and occupational therapy, um, art therapy is used as a tool for self-discovery and it is uh, used to go inside uh, emotions, uh, thoughts and feelings, uh, sometimes easier than um, talking. There are some of uh, some pictures and some creations of uh, girls we, use, we work uh, and uh, beneficiaries and girls who are uh, part of uh, different and equal the reintegration program who have been uh, victims of trafficking. Also uh, some other creations and pictures. Um, we have a quote from a beneficiary. I have never liked painting, but here I feel uh, relaxed when I paint. Uh, paint. Uh, some, um, yes, it is true that some people when we first present art therapy and uh, we explain what we do there, uh, they are not, uh, they hesitate in first place because I don't, I am not a good, uh, I can't paint or I'm not um, as good uh, in painting, but uh, they feel uh, relaxed, they enjoy uh, what they do and they enjoy the final work on when they do things they feel proud of and they discover new things. Uh, new uh, things they can do. 
Another uh, quote from a beneficiary, I wasn't aware that I liked art so much and that I could create so beautiful bijoux. In uh, the beginning, I didn't even want to get involved. That was what I was talking about. Um, but with uh, they uh, concentrate in this work and it is a very good uh, form of even meditation. and. Uh, the effect that they have in the stress relief, and uh, it is very, very good. Uh, this is relaxing activity that gives me the opportunity to be creative. They uh, discover this part of themselves. They, they can uh, create beautiful things. They can be creative. Uh, and through art therapy and occupational therapy, they have all the, the possibilities. Abilities to, to create things they want and they like. Also, uh, when, when people uh, bought at the fairs the things I have created, uh, it gave me a kind of happiness that made me feel appreciated. Um, some people uh, buy things in the fairs uh, uh, that uh, that girls have created, and they really feel uh, happy and really appreciated uh, for for this. Uh, it is very uh, good uh, moment when when we do the fairs and uh, all the things. Uh, the people like the things that girls create. They they feel really appreciated. About um, sport activities and uh, sport activities and physical activities such as volleyball, basketball, we engage in self-defense courses and yoga. We, uh, they practice and like a lot. Uh, sport um, uh, access to mind and body to promote healing, which is uh, the connection of sport and, and stre stress relief is uh it is so important even for in the process of healing from traumas which helps a lot also the music as uh, we mentioned um i have a difficult uh, difficulty to speak about what happened to me says one of the girls no one knows my feelings as i do but but when i sing my voice is strong is powerful it says everything my, my owns my sorrows and my past um, this sentence says a lot about uh, how it works and um, uh, the, the impact that uh, art uh, and music has in the expressing themselves, in the expressing uh, of oneself and uh, expressing the emotions is one of the most important uh, steps in uh, healing from trauma because uh, it, the emotions have been suppressed for a long, long time and finding a way to express them, it's, uh, it really starts, in, uh, we start the, the journey of healing from trauma, which is so uh, personal and individual. But using these tools as, uh, uh, as uh, uh, is, we push them uh, in very, in a softly way through art to, to start healing and uh, express the emotions for so much long suppressed. A uh, kitchen and cooking it's something girls uh, really enjoy and uh, i used to, I used to think I did not even know how to cook, but uh, now I have created so many recipes that I think in the future uh, to make a, ki a kitchen book uh, says one of the beneficiaries um, exploring with new things and beautiful things as the uh, uh, kitchen and cooking is. Um, it is very uh, uh, relaxing and um, activity and um, it's like a therapy. Uh, kitchen and cooking is like therapy and girls enjoy uh, a lot uh, doing this. And uh, they, they uh, in the quad, the girl in the quad have um, a strength and the, the self-esteem has... Uh, because they, she thinks they can make a kitchen book, which she feels appreciated and uh, brave enough in what uh, she does. Also, the passion for cooking pushed us to open in uh, 2013 the only uh, bagel stores in the city. 
Um, which is going good, and we are so happy to have uh, bagels in the city. And it's um, it is uh, with all the uh, uh, devotion and all the love that uh, girls and people who work there uh, give, uh, and it it is really good that we have it. Uh, Self-care also is a very important in self-care. When uh, we pay a lot of attention uh, to self-care because uh, self-care is self-love and um, self-love is very important to know your values and to protect yourself. Uh, uh, the mirror for me is like a, ther is like a therapist. Uh, one of the beneficiaries uh, says, uh, the more uh, beautiful I become, the more I love myself. And uh, when uh, and also uh, when they start uh, loving themselves, they feel more powerful. Uh, before I came here, I felt guilty if I try to look beautiful. But now I have uh, but now I have promised myself that I would not neglect it anymore. Uh, it is part of our our culture uh, that uh, we may uh, feel guilt when uh, we look beautiful, especially girls. And a lot of girls uh, report that uh, in in the conversations, or uh, they reflect in the way of acting. And um, it is so important. Uh, we pay a lot of attention to self care because um, it self care is self value also. And um, our culture um, has not done the best to, to give um, uh, that self-care, to learn that self-care also self-value to the girls. A engaging in the design and implementation of awareness campaigns, it is not new that uh, Girl, uh, that all the beneficiaries uh, in different and equal are uh, active uh, active participators also in the campaigns and the awareness uh, in the awareness campaigns. Uh, some of the quotes are, um, "I am like you. I retook back my life. You can do too." But there are some um, uh, slogans we had in uh, awareness campaigns. And we work together uh, very close with uh, the victims of trafficking and the beneficiaries in our organization uh, to uh, concept all the awareness campaign and what we want to express. It's what girls express to us. And then we, we uh, th th this is really uh, helpful for us. And uh, this is a really, uh, it is real when, when girls say these words. Uh, to about the awareness campaign and uh, uh, there are some of the work in the, some picture in these pictures there are some of the works the uh, beneficiaries have done uh, different photos from the awareness campaigns slogans I'm at the last slide. Uh, it is a video. Maybe Mariana has something to say about this. Uh, time to talk, break the silence, ask for help. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, one of the videos that um, uh, the group of uh, survivors that we support uh, designed in the uh, last campaign that they did it to address uh, the sexual violence and trafficking uh, uh, to uh, youth. So the, uh, besides designing other tools, uh, uh, they designed this uh, video in order to encourage uh, the victims of sexual violence or trafficking to talk. So this is, uh, they, uh, they even participated uh, together with the company in the process of filming and of making uh, this uh, video. And this has been really uh, so empowering for them. And they are so proud that they have contributed uh, through these campaigns and, uh, and that uh, even for this video. So maybe uh, Felix can help us to 
show it. Thank you. Uh, so we are we are happy that we had Adlaida and to present this and this impressive, very impressive uh, film uh, introduced by Mariana. So I think uh, we we are very full of information and also very touched because this is emotional. This is really uh, very heavy to take in. So um, as we had the last. Um, a webinar I would propose now. We will have a, a short time to watch to a series of uh, paintings made and created by victims of trafficking. And we will hear what they want to tell us. And during this time, um, you can think about your questions. And we have the Q&A box. And you can put the questions in the Q&A box. And uh, after some minutes, when we have uh, 
meditated and seen the message of the um, survivors of trafficking. We will come back to the questions. The victim. Being a victim feels like a book's torn page. You fall into somebody else's game. You get disappointed and you get lost. Pain. Something unexpected happened to me, and the experience I passed through was very painful. It is like dust into the heart, and it hurts your soul. The self. It is a mirror that shows you the way you are. Being you is the most sincere thing in the world. Memories. I have different memories of my life. I remember being with the people I loved when I received love, when I was happy. And I recall these moments with the hope that they happen again. Often I remember and ask myself, why did this happen to me? Exploitation. Exploitation suffocates your soul, your feelings, and your freedom. Sexual abuse. Sexual abuse is the exploitation of the mind and body. It is something we do not talk about. Abuse is like being buried and not being able to get out. Strengths. Mind is the center of strengths. A mind in harmony is the strength of life. The good and the bad. There are two doors in life. The good and the bad. They always come together, but the good experiences make you stronger to confront the bad ones. Love. When I have loved, everything goes well. It is the most beautiful thing in the world, the happiest. The past and the future. The past can help me repair the present and the future. The present makes me dream. So I'm looking ahead.
control. It suffocates you. It's a trauma. It's violence. It's scary. Anger. Anger is a flame that burns you from within. You feel left alone with it. Tears. It's a branch where I lie sometimes. My tears are for me. For my family. For my son. The tears are because I didn't want the life I was living. Support. Oh. When I needed it, I have appreciated any support. Even if it was hold, broken umbrella, support made me not feel the rain, the cold and the storm, and to keep on walking. I have been in a difficult situation, wet, sad, and alone. Support was worthy to me when the persons offering it have walked by my side with me. Loneliness. Loneliness is the ugliest thing in the world. You feel despised, abandoned, unappreciated. 